Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Annie. I'm from the University of Mataram. On behalf of the authors, I would like to present our research on implementations of COVID-19 protocol for scuba diving during the pandemic, implications for marine science students of Mataram University. So the reason we undertook this study is because we concerned with our students' qualities and competencies because during the pandemic, they couldn't do all field practices. And one of the most important competencies is scuba diving. So what do we do about it? So then we saw opportunity um, that we can actually do this following rules and guidance as set out by the Ministry of Tourism and Creative Economy and West Nusa Tenggara Province Governor Regulations. So the rule or the guidance from the Ministry of Tourism is on clean health, safe and environmental sustainability for dive tourism business. So this is specifically for uh, dive and scuba diving. So we piloted the implementations of the protocol on 17 October in Pandanan Beach in North Lombok. We aim to evaluate the feasibility of, of the protocol to be implemented by the marine science department and marine science students of Mataram University. Uh, the method we use is first we documents uh, uh, we review the documents uh, that we've mentioned earlier. We then conduct virtual sharing sessions with destination experts from the Ministry of Tourism and Creative Economy. We conduct introduction to scuba uh, diving gear to limited number of students on campus. We then pilot testing the protocol in Pandanan Beach. Uh, you can see here we conducted um, thermal gun uh, test uh, for the body temperature. And we also uh, maintain one meter uh, distance, both online and under the water. And lastly, we conduct evaluations using matrix and interview. So the results is that we have followed in um, most of the activities as set out in the guidance, all of the relevant ones. Uh, we check temperatures using thermal gun, we use masks, uh, we keep one meter distance, we disinfect our scuba diving gear with chloroxylene of 4.8%. Uh, as, um, as you can see here, uh, that's uh, one of the recommended uh, disinfectants. Uh, and then we read the material safety data sheet for the disinfectant that we use, which is Dettol liquid antiseptic disinfectant, which is available online. Uh, we use water wisely and we uh, conduct proper mask disposals and cleaning. However, we did not follow one, uh, one criteria uh, using gloves because we replaced that with washing hands with soap and using hand sanitizers. So the implications for marine science students is that when we conduct these infect activities, we should carry this. Uh, far from the coastline because it may cause adverse impact for aquatic life. We understand that uh, we should understand the MSDS for the disinfectant product we use uh, before we use it and we should act accordingly. And the point on collaboration is uh, we should collaborate with other organizations because we need at least four, uh, four gear ready one for a new learner two for experienced divers and one for rescue divers and don't forget we must collaborate with local fishers just in case we need their help we need their ship to rescue us if necessary um, and we need to keep safe distance from other visitors and we recommend that one new learner should be accompanied by at least two experienced scuba divers because, uh, because of the one meter distance uh, obligations. And uh, for the university, they can provide free rapid tests for students and free mask and disinfectant. Uh, and this is quite affordable for university to cover. So the conclusions is uh, this protocol is very feasible to be implemented. 
provided that all materials and equipment are available, but the challenge to keep the one meter distance uh, persists because first time learners uh, require a lot of assistance. That's why we need rapid test and even uh, PCR test, uh, just in case we need to uh, uh, like to get closer. And um, if this to be implemented for all the students, uh, as we have mentioned, the university can provide free rapid test and provide good scheduling. And we would like to highlight the need for collaborations more often, uh, more, moreover in this pandemic period. So with that, we would like to close our presentations uh, with our acknowledgement to our collaborators, uh, the Ministry of Marine and Fisheries Affairs for uh, providing the diving gear through Panjaga Pulau community in Sumbawa Besar. Uh, we would like to thank the Ministry of Tourism and uh, Creative Economy and Hima Silpa Visi Unram for their kind support. Uh, lastly, we would like to thank you for your uh, kind attentions.